It's KFC, by the way, that's done a lot of this damage. Um, when I was a young heavy boy, uh, it was pizza. Pizza was my thing, and now it's become fried chicken of all stripes, but particularly KFC. The colonel's a military man, and he has me surrounded. <laughs> I can't compete with that training. I assume he was in Nam. The Colonel's a master tactician and he knows exactly how to get me. The genius of the Colonel, and it is genius, is uh, in his marketing, his strategy and his marketing. Um, because uh, I, what I get from KFC when I go there is a mighty bucket for one. Which is a repulsive phrase, but... <laughs> That's the colonel's power. He's so good, he can make this guy, awful phrases sound appetizing, like boneless banquet. You can get- He woke up the next morning, I'm a cooker, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna make him so uncomfortable. Banquet where no one's got any bones. <laughs> but the colonel makes it work. Mighty bucket for one. The genius lies in the word mighty. Because the colonel, in his wisdom, knows that not even someone as emotionally dependent on his chicken as me is willing to walk into a KFC on my own, probably late at night, walk up to the cashier, when the cashier says, how can I help you, sir? These are in that moment, I'm not willing to say, bucket for one, please. <laughs> bucket for one. Do you mean family bucket, sir? So you can share the lovely chicken with your family. I have no family. <laughs> Bucket for one. We have lots of box meals and sandwiches you could enjoy. No. I still want enough chicken to necessitate a bucket. but not so much that only two or more people could handle it. I want it to be in a bucket because I'm a hog. A lonely hog. And I'd like to eat like one. Bucket for one, please. You'd kill yourself, wouldn't you, the next day? Chuck the word mighty in there. Oh, now you're in the Avengers, aren't you? You're a superhero now. Oh, a mighty bucket. <laughs> I'm feeling quite mighty myself. My power is I can eat chicken till I feel like I have the flu. <laughs> till I have a sweat in my lower back. Mightier with every bite. All I want, if I listen to my body, all I want is to eat chicken three times a day and die at 47. That's what I want. <laughs> I won't do it, if only to save the NHS the hassle. <laughs> but it's what I want. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't what I'm being told to do. <laughs> All the whispering. It's absolutely what I'm being told or constantly. He did, he did. So, that's what I want. I won't do it, but it's what I want. What I want is to eat chicken three times a day, every day, till I die at 47. And then when, when I get cremated, right, I want my corpse to be so suffused with chicken grease. That when they cremate me, they do it for free. I want the crematorium staff to come out to meet my family and say, we've never seen a guy go up like that. He had a blue flame. We used him to do the next guy. <laughs> we owe you money now, I think. We, we've just done the first green cremation, technically. 